up buddy nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 of nerdigans Inc. and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for twin star exorcist chapter 134 and before we get into this very emotional final live reaction um we are at war with youtube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this algorithmic beast we need you to please hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and nah, we ain't sponsored by shwisha and nah, we ain't sponsored by manga plus and nah, we ain't sponsored by viz and considering how much we promote manga plus on this channel it's kind of surprising right <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me my adorable little bubba kitty who's somewhere around here and this operation literally alive and kicking so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, I can't believe we're here. I mean, I've been covering this series since 2016. It's one of the first series I've... Um, I covered on this channel and um oh man it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to this one it, it really will um so how i do final live reactions is basically there's no recap i just jump straight into the chapter and then once i'm done with it i give my thoughts you know on the chapter um and as you know an ending and the series as a whole and because I know Sakeno Sensei does watch my content, I'm going to have a very special message for them at the end of this video. So, please, Sakeno, are you watching this? Like, like I hope you are. <laughs> um, so, anyways, let's get to this chapter and see how this very long journey is going to end. Of course, we're going to start it off with a very beautiful color page. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss covering this manga every month. Here we go. Hikaru. 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 Master? Um, uh-oh, that's her. Uh-oh, that's her angry voice. Ah, uh, here we go. Tokyo, um, Sichimakado Island, Sichimakado uh, Town, Imahatsu District, uh, Rokuro Amato Manor. Well, Hikaru, isn't there something you need to tell me? Uh, something I need to tell you, Master? Oh, she took, she took care of dude. Hikaru looks so much like his daddy. I'm sorry. I apologize if this is impertinent, but I, <laughs> I've observed that you seem unusually engaged in all kinds of anti-aging care. If you're going to invest in all of those duteous supplements, I advise you uh, to lay off the sweets and pills instead. As for your fitness routine, wouldn't it be better to focus less on spell-oriented techniques and work harder on your physical training um, if your intention is to firm up your pecs and hips? After all, you're over 30 now. You won't be young forever. It's time you face reality and... Why do I feel like standing together? Why? Why are you doing this <laughs> Um, th what I was asking about was this. These are, uh, yours, aren't they, Hikaru? Fess up! The other children in your mixed martial arts class spilled the beans. These are all spells for high-ranking missions. How many times have I told you? It's way too early for you to start training for, uh, um, for battle inside Magano. With all due respect, Master, I've been told that at my age, my father and mother were already in, um, skilled enough to fight inside Magano. As the prophesied child uh, born of the two of them, I must be, like I said, how many times have I told you? Times have changed. The last thing Rokuro and Benio wanted was for you to be involved in these battles. They wanted you to escape your harsh fate. That's what they sacrificed themselves for, uh, for, to bring an end to our eternal battle with the Kagari. Instead of military tactics, we need to concentrate on maintaining peace. No one on this island wants you to fight. I appreciate your concern for my well-being, but shouldn't you be more worried about yourself? What do you mean? I heard you turn... Ooh, I heard you turned down another arranged mar marriage meeting. It's time you realize you're in no position age-wise to be picky about a partner. Dude, what an ass! And also, Sakeno, like... Ah, God, why? I feel like you're mocking me. Why must you mock me? You stabbed me in the heart with your words, you you natural butt of motion stabby stabber! I really hope that this is an accurate 
translation and just and not the um, localizer being an asshole. <sighs> Part of me feels like it is an accurate. <sighs> You know what, to be fair, the Twin Star Exorcist localization for the most part has been accurate. It really has, but God, there's times like this where I'm like, oh God, I oh, oh this I don't know with them with them anymore. I really don't. Their editorial department is so questionable. At this rate, she almost ends up in a rage marriage with another woman! How dare you! He brings up a fantastic point! But but hold up! Why why hasn't that ship sailed already? Why? Hikaru brings up a fantastic point. Why have you just not sailed? Why? That ship should have happened already. <sighs> huh? What's up with the huge sigh? Worrying about Hikaru again? Uh, uh, maybe I brought him up wrong. What? No way! You've been a huge help, Mayu! My husband's and my spiritual power are so weak. Your words carry mo uh, much more weight than ours. I've never heard a card complain about you, uh, Mayura, not once. Really? I've overheard him whispering to someone in his room lately. Oh? Uh, does Akara have a crush? Akara gets married. I bet you'll be the one who cries the most at his wedding, Mayu! No way! Probably. <laughs> In any case, your biggest concern isn't that he's a problem child, right? It's that he's problem-free! Right. Um, I've done my best, I think, uh, by, uh, by him. I've raised Hikaru without comparing him to Rokuro and Benio, so that being the prophesied child wouldn't burden him. I want him to live freely in the world that Rokuro and Benio created for him, but he's shown um, flashes of his incredible power from the day he was born. His spiritual power is said to surpass that of childhood prodigies like Tenma and Master Arima. But that's the thing, though! Yeah, you don't want him to, you, the thing is, you gotta let him choose his own path. I do like, I understand what, you know, Mira is trying to do. But he's at least got to be able to be, you've got to let him know these things. You just can't baby him. You gotta be like, look, this is what's going, this is what's, what you were born into. But I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do what I need to do to raise you, and you get to choose your own path. If you want to do this, go ahead. But I'm putting this. Uh, I'm giving you this out. This option. That's what. That's what should be happening. But, in my opinion, uh, three years ago when Hikari was seven years old, see, I told him the story of Rokuro and Benio. He accepted it calmly without a hint of surprise. Thank you for telling me this. See. She's being straight with him. That's what you got to do in this kind of situation. Because kids are, like, believe it or not, kids are a lot smarter than you think they are. It was um, as if he naturally understood the fate he was born with. See? He knows. Karu is growing up as the child that every adult um, hoped he would be. He's fulfilled his role as the prophesied child to the letter. But at the same time, you got to let him be a kid, though. You got to be honest. Tell him these things, but he's like, but at the same time, be like, look, yes, you were born into this, but you still, but that doesn't mean you can't still be a kid. Enjoy your youth while you can. When the time comes, you'll know what, what you need to do. Just enjoy life while you can. Rokuro and Benio are still somewhere in the depths of Magano, protecting Hikaru by functioning as the uh, king and queen of purification. Over the last 10 years, all of the Magano under uh, the mainland has disappeared. At the same time, Magano's uh, main lair under Suchimikado Island has been shrinking every year. Apart from the offspring of the Basara living in Outcast Valley, not a single new Kagari has been spawned. What remains from over a thousand mysterious lairs of Magano is only a few countable lairs now. In uh, time, even the main layers of Magano, including Outcast Valley, will disappear from this world. When that happens, an era free of conflict between the Exorcist and Kagari will truly have arrived. But you also have the fact that you're killing off Kagari. You know, Kagari are going to become extinct, too. What's going to happen then? Hikaru, um, Rokuro, and Medeo exercise the chains that bound you to your fate. You were free from the moment of your birth. But the, the other thing, though, is there's still going to be a consequence. There's unintended consequences to this, uh, um, to their actions. It happens all the time. 
Nakara does have a point, though. Huh? Why isn't your relationship with Shimon progressing seriously? What? It really is high time you pursued your own happiness, Mayu. Um, I don't, I don't have time for that. I made up my mind to post opposed to upon that kind of thing until Akara was grown up. But wouldn't it be better if Shimon was with her to help him with that? Uh, you know, help her with that? Like, come on. Besides, Shimon isn't in a good place for that kind of thing right now. Uh, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't thinking. So now we're at Shimakado Island, um, Otakari District, uh, Mitsuoka, wait, Mitsusaka Private Hospital. What happened? How are you, Sayo? Um, thank you for visiting her so often, Master Alice. Um, it's finally started to cool down, so I'm more comfortable. That's right, summers on Tsuchimakado are very hot. Is there anything I could uh, do for you? Well, I'd like to see Roku and Benny. Sayo, <laughs> sorry, just kidding. I was told that being the host of Kuzu, um, Kuzunoha meant I wouldn't live beyond the age of 20, but those two gave me the courage to resist my fate and even created this world of peace and hope. I wanted to get the chance to thank them before I... Sayev, don't give up! I fought my destiny long enough. At this rate, I'm just dead away from my big brother. Aww. Poor Shimon. Aren't you pushing yourself too much? Um, I'm fine. That last that was the last one. Phew. I'm not getting a reading on a single Kigari in this layer anymore. Great, let's move on to the next layer then. Hold on. That's enough work for today. If you keep fighting like this, you'll Oh. Are you done yet? Um you came to help uh you came to help us, thanks. As usual, you look like you're in a big uh hurry to die. Ta Take a break, drop on my place instead. Oh Kobe! Hey, that's a great idea. Let's accept his hospitality and get some rest. Like, dude, he's so awesome. Okay, let's see what's going on in Outcast Valley. Welcome home, Kamui. Oh, you brought the exorcist with you. Like, this is so awesome to see how the relationship has changed. Oh, and they said Kigari weren't being born? So that's what you thought, Mayu. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would have prepared something if you told us you were coming. Uh, don't worry about it. Welcome back, Kamui. Uh, you aren't torn to shreds today. <laughs> You make it sound like I'm usually a mess. Um, I cooked dinner for you. Oh, is that Suzu? Um, I didn't ask you. Or maybe you'd like to take a bath first? I don't need that either. When are you going to marry me? <laughs> I don't want a family. Um, the mood in this village seems lighter every day. Every time I drop by. How many times do I have to tell you not to expose so much skin when you're out fighting? Um, oh, that wasn't Suzu. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. No. And it's all thanks to the support of the Association of Unified Exorcists. That's my wife, Suzu. Yes, Suzu! My wife! Suzu's been stoked about putting on another live performance. She's been a pain in the ass ever since you gave her uh, those so-called musical instruments. My wife looks so hot. Oh, really? LOL. Hey, um, you're impatient because you haven't been able to find a way to save your sister yet. Is that it? Huh? What? This guy's so insensitive. Don't worry about it. If exercising every Gagari and Magano isn't doing the trick, we'll just have to eradicate all the Outcast Valley, Basara. After that, there will be nothing left for you to fight, right? So you'll have, uh, have escaped your fate. I would. I would never do a terrible thing like that. Why not? What's the big deal? Don't you care about anything? Um, Magano, the only environment where you could survive is shrinking by the day. Eventually, Outcast Valley and the Basara within it will all... No, I'm sorry. That was an insensitive question. Why are you apologizing? We need to prepare for the inevitable. The truth is, the only reason we exist in the first place is because of you. We Kigari are an artificial species created by humans. We're like a disease on this planet. No one wants us. That's not true! Thanks to the kindness and generosity of the Twin Stars and the Association of Unified Exorcists, we've been allowed to live. Everyone here is willing to sacrifice their lives in return if that's what you need. But until then, as long as we're not dead yet, we're going to enjoy life. Besides, we're all tired of cursing each other. Thanks. You give me courage. I don't get it. Hey, uh, where'd she go? What's wrong, Asaha? Oh, Kamui, have you seen uh, Mirai anywhere? Um, Mirai? She's wandered off again without doing her chores. Mirai? First the rites of purification, next the chanting of the Shinto prayers. Have you prepared the bells? Good. The ritual dance? Don't worry, I've been practicing. Hopefully I won't get stage fright during the real deal. Huh. Just kidding. Uh-huh. Okay, we're ready. It's time. What? What did you just say? Please take me to, um, 
uh, Magano to the abyss. I finally completed my uh, preparations. It was hard work. But now I'm ready to retrieve the power of the Supreme One. What? What are you talking about? Why retrieve the power of the Supreme One now? My parents were supposed to transform their lives into spiritual power to awaken me as the Supreme One. Instead, they used to become a vessel to contain the King of the Kagari. I'm going to go um, to the abyss to perform the Taizen Fukan ritual. I'll call upon the Taizen Fukan, the greatest divine spirit of the Amiodo, to fully awaken my powers as the Supreme One. What? Um, hold on, I'm not following this at all. You finished preparations for the ritual? Have you been doing this all by yourself? No, I've been working with uh, Basara in Outcast Valley. I used a spell to communicate with her. The preparations for the ritual are almost complete in Outcast Valley as well. Uh, how long have you been pre uh, planning this? <gasps> oh my god! Since three years ago, right after you told me about my parents, Master. It was back then when I visited the Great Black Tori that um, this Basara contact, um, contacted me. Hey out there, can you hear me? Can you hear me, human exorcist? You've been preparing for three years without breathing a word to any of us? Sorry, Master. Even when I was a baby, from the moment I first awakened, I knew who I was. See? He knew who he was right away. Like, I'm telling you, kids are smart like that. You, you never know. And what I have been born to do, I knew everything. And what are you planning to do after uh, you draw out the power of the Supreme One from your parents? What's he going to do? Oh, you're here. I apologize for dropping out of the blue. Um, don't worry about it. This is a total surprise to us, too. So you're Rokuro Benio's kid. <laughs> See? You look just like your dad. A lot of people tell me I take after my mother. Nah, he, he looks like Rokuro more than uh, Benio. He, he totally does. Your eyes, that intense look of determination, is it's exactly like your father's. It totally is! Hikaru! Um, you must be Hikaru. I can't believe I finally get to meet you. Whoa, I've been waiting, uh, for this day, waiting all my life. Oh, so this is the, um, that has to be the reincarnation of the, uh, Kigari King, right? Hikaru, um, don't tell me she's, yep, she's the one cooperating with me to do the ritual. Um, uh, Mirai, um, I can't perform this ritual alone. I can't do it without her help. All right, here we go. The reincarnation of the uh, king of the Kagari. See, I knew it. King of Kagari is Mirai? Calm down. Listen to me. It's just a possibility. We don't have definitive proof. Mirai was born soon after Rokuro and Benio um, exercised the king of the Kagari. She's my child, but she's been um, oh, she's always been uh, peculiar. Uh, I gave her a different name when she was born, but one day she said out of the blue, she said, Sorry, Mom. I've um, remembered I have... Uh, a name given to me by someone um, very important. It means future. I thought it was sound or something else in the uh, um, in the previous chapter, but hmm. while I was pregnant, my body was exposed to Yang energy for a long time. Um, a long time, and uh, Rokuro shared some of his uh, Yang energy with me as well. So Mary was born with a mixture of Yang and Yin energy. Um, I think it was supposed to be, uh, was exposed to yin um, energy for a long time, and Rokuro shared some of his uh, yang energy with me as well. Yeah, there, there's, yeah. Um, mixture of yang and yin energy within her, it follows that um, that uh, she'd be similar to the Supreme One in some ways. Perhaps these two children know a way to heal this world that we haven't discovered yet. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now then, oh, they look so cute. Oh my God, they look adorable. Now then, let's begin. With undue respect to Tyson Fook and divinities of the of uh, the underworld, um, let me make this bigger. Um, is also difficult unlawful actions by um by demons. At night, the evolution of Mars has changed its uh course. Uh, earth shakes and mysterious for the divinities of heaven to risk all transformation and dullness and. Um, so what are you planning? There we go. So, um, what are you planning to do after you draw, uh, you draw out the power of the Supreme One from your parents? I'll return my father and mother to the real world. What? Tyson Fukin is the god of Amiudo, um, who governs the creation of the universe and all within it. I'll use the power of, uh, this greatest of divinities to draw out the power of the Supreme One, the core of, uh, the King of Purification, and bring back my parents' soul to this world. 
After that, with the aid of my partner from Mount Cass Valley, I'll use the entirety um, of uh, the spiritual power of the Supreme One that I've regained to perform the four corners of uh, four corners and four borders ritual, uh, the most powerful crown purification ceremony, to recreate Magano in the form of another planet in our universe. Hmm. Okay. I feel like so far I'm really liking the direct I like the writing we're getting here. But something that but this is unlike a lot of the endings we've gotten so far, and this is just I feel like has been Twin Star Exorcist problem with the past few chapters or since like the fi the final fight with uh, um with the Kigari King. I feel like this could have been spread out. Like, I feel like this needed maybe one more chapter. Kind of like with the past few chapters, it needed a few more chapters to, like, let it breathe a little bit with the final fight against the Kigari King. I feel like this chapter so far, I feel like it kind of needs, I feel like this needed maybe, this, this could have been split into two chapters like the, like starting right here with the ritual for example this chapter from the starting from the ritual down or actually could have been right here start uh what page is this start like right here at page 39 could have ended the chapter right here like it could have expanded like a lot of the stuff from um the first 39 pages could have expanded that and had an end at chapter 39, or like expanded that and had the chapter end with uh, um, the content we had on page 39, and then have one more chapter, and then have the rest of the contents from this from this chapter for uh, the final chapter. That's what it seems like to me so far. But we'll see. We'll see what we could. We'll see what happens from here. But but that's what it feels thus far. That's what it feels like to me. But let me know in the comments. The expansion of Magano has stopped progressing thanks to my parents, but the erosion of Magano continues to uh, due to this planet's vast amount of Yang energy. And then the final chapter could have uh, started, you know, with um, page 39 and then again, like, then continued. But anyways, uh, the expansion of Magano has stopped progressing thanks to my parents, but the erosion of Magano continues due to this planet's vast amount of Yang energy. At this rate, both Magano and the Kigari will soon cease to exist. The problem is we need uh, Magano, Mirai, and the others to retain the balance of the energy of this universe. Thank you! Thank you! This is exactly what I, I needed to see! Because that was the one concern I had was, like, what the fuck is going to happen? There needs to be balance. Thank you for including this. I gotta read this again here. The expansion of Magano has stopped progressing thanks to my parents, but the erosion of Magano continues due to this planet's vast amount of Yang energy. Um, her gratitude to heaven, we follow the orders of, and at this rate, both Magano and the Kagari will soon cease to exist. The problem is we need Magano, Mirai, and the others to retain the balance of energy in the universe. Thank you. Because you can't have yin, you can't have darkness without light, you can't have negative without positive, and you can't have yin without yang. Thank you for addressing this, Sakeno. I'm so glad that this is here. So happy. Thank you. Um, the axis of the earth and um, Camilla, a uh, tree that brings. I don't know how I feel about it being a planet in the universe instead of like an another alternate alternate dimension that kind of that I, I don't know how I feel about that per se but I do like the fact that that is being addressed though but anyways both yang energy and yin energy must be irreversible it's only when they support and balance each other that we can avoid the peril of the doomed universe that the king of the Kigari envisioned and feared above all that is true. That is the fully realized shape of the world that my father and mother strove to create. 
Um, an unbelievable mass of spiritual powers rising out of the death of the abyss. Has the power of the Supreme One returned to, uh, to Little Hickey? I do, uh, oh my God. You know, Fuda, me, I'm so happy that this was said. Thank you. Thank you. Because that was the thing that bothered me the most, was there was nothing addressing the fact that you can't, you have to have some form of darkness, some form of contrast to that positive energy. I'm so glad that that was addressed. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that, Sakano. Fuda mi yo itsu mu nana yaha. Their spiritual power is emerging. Um, Kokono, uh, Tawana, uh, Rikaria, um, Farabe, um, is this, could it be resonance? Now with the force of infinite emotions, Yura, uh, Yurado, Furube, be cleansed, be purified. Magano, it's time for you to depart. Kyo, Kyo, Neo, Ritsu, Ryu. They remove the force field um, around Magano. This is beautiful. The, is that a lion? Yeah, the lion, they got a centaur. Are those the 12 guardians? Woo! The guardians look beautiful. Oh my God. Heroes of Sushi Mikado who have followed in the footsteps of Master Semi. You have done well. These are beautiful. I love these designs. I do. These are fantastic. We, the ancient guardians, shall leave this planet and take the power of the Supreme One with us. The spiritual power that... Um, people are born with shall remain in this world. We will move to a planet and you shall remain on earth to shine your light upon the future. Together, the pillar of light and the pillar of darkness shall support the stability of the universe's energy. The source of all things shall be maintained, not through force, but through compassion. I like that. Oh, so all the spirits are going, all the guardians and spirits are leaving. So what this kind of gives, it's kind of like with Fire Force, what we saw with the, um, uh, oh my God. It's like with what we, uh, with the, um, with the Adola, there we go, with the Adola, after uh, the cataclysm and everything was repaired, after um, uh, Shinra fixed the world. What, do you, what happened was, I'm spoiling Fire Force, you have to deal with it was they returned, everyone returned their, uh, their Adola, or, you know, their, their firepower, their Adola, back to, you know, the dimension it came from. Okay, the, the Adola. So um, the fire of Adola back to the flames, hence it came. That's what I'm getting from this. So everyone's returning their power, their spirit, you know, their power, all the power, the spiritual power that people are born with shall remain this world. Um, but we will move to a new planet and you shall remain on earth to shine your light upon the future. So the guardian spirits though, while people will still have their spiritual power, the guardian spirits though are leaving together with the pillar of light and the pillar of darkness shall support the stability of the universe's energy. The source of all things shall be maintained, not through force, but through compassion. What is happening? Coming back. What? Roku and Benny are coming back. Never forget, as long as people respect that they too are part of this planet's nature, all that you love shall be safeguarded. Makano is rising up into the... Yay, it worked! Hey, is this goodbye? We'll meet again soon, as long as the sun and the moon and spiritual power exist. Um, exist. After all, spiritual power is just the embodiment of human desires. I get it. See you later, Hikaru. I'll be waiting. Uh-huh. See you, Mirai. Is this the great black Tory? Have we returned? Look, is that the king of purification? The power of the Supreme One is leaving Earth. Uh, what's that over there? Two spheres of light are floating down. Hira, uh-huh. I need to tell Ryogo and, uh, and the others about this right away. Master, thank you for taking care of me until now. What are you talking about? I'll always be your master. Don't think I'll go easy on you. But you'll finally get to be just plain Hikaru Amato now. See, Hikaru was able to fulfill his destiny just in an unexpected way. Yeah, I hope you'll find happiness someday, Master. You too. Go on.
go. Dawn is breaking. The sun, the moon, and countless stars have all been waiting, uh, waiting this daybreak of the universe. This is the story of a family, a girl and a boy, a boy and a girl. They met many people and parted ways from some of them. They grew, they became close. They spoke of love and they created life. This is the story of a boy and a girl who defied their cruel destiny. Oh! And the story of their child instilled with the power to change that destiny and save the world. This is a story of how a family grasped their happiness. Um, the, and this final chapter is titled, The Birthing Cry of the Universe, The Joy of the Star. This, what, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, this art is beautiful. In terms of this chapter, I'm so happy that this chapter addressed the thing about balance of uh, power. Because the Magano being erased was a huge problem that I had. Um, from the uh, from chapter 133, I had a huge problem with that. I was not liking that idea. No, 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 no. And I'm glad that Benio and Rokuro came back. I am. I thought, and I, the thing that's great about this and the, the final lines of this just make this better. How, how all of them, because this is a story of how this family, Benio, Benio Rokuro, and Hikaru defied their destiny. Hikaru technically fulfilled his destiny just in a different way. So I really like that. But I still, I still think, do I think this is one of the better, oh, this is definitely one of the better endings, hands down. Oh, for sure. This is definitely better than what I know we're gonna get with Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen's ending is gonna be ass. Uh, Boku no Hero, this is definitely better than Boku no Hero Academia's ending. It's better than Noragami's ending, for sure. I'm putting, Sakeno, I'm putting my bias aside because I know you watch my content. Would I say this is, this is not, I'm sorry, but it is not better than Hoseki no Kuni's ending. It is not. It, it, Hoseki no Kuni's ending just was just so perfect because of pacing and everything. The way it was done was just perfect. That's the only, and to, would I say this is better than Tomodachi Games ending? I would say it's up there with Tamadachi's game's ending because similar to Tamadachi game, Twin Star Exorcist did have a twist. It did. With how Hikaru managed to still fulfill his destiny. But at the same time, defy fate. You know, defy his fate at the same time. But man, that twist though at the end of Tamadachi game might might just be a little bit better might uh be a little bit better than this but i still say this ending is good but as i i still stand by my statement that i uh, and this is again this is the problem that i had with twin star exorcist um is that i still think it was just a teeny bit rushed this final fight against the Kigari King was just a teeny bit rushed. I feel like it just could have been drawn out just a teeny bit more. Not by that many chapters though. No, 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 no. I feel like it could have been maybe like, we're at 134. I would say if this manga would have went to maybe chapter one, if this would have been 140 chapters, because I'm, because I'm taking page count into account as well. I think if this manga would have been 140 chapters and that's, you know, taking pacing into account and all that, maybe at most, like the most it would have to be a minimum 140, maybe max 150. I think this manga would have been a lot more in my opinion, would have been a little bit more successful. 
in terms of like the ending. But in terms of this ending though, I just feel like it could have been split into two chapters and had like, and if the Kendall would have expanded on the content um, and from like pages one to like 39 here, and then um, to give us a little bit more um, in 134 and then had from like, um, like start at page 39 and go from page 39 to the end of this chapter for like chapter one and have it be like a chapter 135, I think it would have worked so much better in my opinion. But I'm curious what you guys think in regards to that. But in terms of this manga as a whole, Twin Star Exorcist was one of the most powerful series I've covered on this channel. Um, not just in terms of the art, which was just spectacular. This art is just so goddamn beautiful but the writing oh my god this writing this writing was stellar and the thing that twin star exorcist did and, and here's where i'm gonna have my little message for sakano here because i have to thank sakano sensei for this because the timing of these chapters were so perfect at times because what we saw a lot of these characters go through resonated with me. It did. And doing these videos is like my therapy. So like seeing this happen, especially, you know, God, the timing of this, because this month is the fifth anniversary of, you know, my significant other's death. So like see, like having this, Having this chapter, having the series end this month is just so, uh, and you know, it's just so interesting. <laughs> Again, the timing was always so perfect, and it and when I, you know, it always made me feel better. <laughs> so it's gonna be really hard to not uh, to not see Twin Star to not cover Twin Star Exorcist every month. I'm really hoping Sakeno comes back. I really hope Sakeno does a straight up horror manga next. I really do. I would love to see like either a Sentai or a horror series from Sakeno next. I do. Because the, the horror art that Sakeno put out in this series was just beautiful. I'm praying that we get that. I do. Seriously, Sakeno, please. Please put out a horror series next. I want to straight, I would love to see a straight up horror or, or like if you, oh, imagine if Sakeno did like a Sentai horror series. Oh my God, that would be sick. Please, please do it. I, I would love to see it. But um, something I am hoping to see is because this is the series 10th, um, 10 year anniversary and something that Sakeno has expressed on social media is uh, that they would like to have a um, like a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood style anime, aka an anime reboot, because unlike say um, say One Piece, for example, Twin Star Exorcist did not get an actual anime adaptation. No, um, and Sakeno actually said that only like maybe three volumes of the manga ever got adapted and the rest was filler. Seriously, Shueisha, why the fuck are you not pushing for this? Why are you not giving Sakeno a Twin Star Exorcist anime, anime reboot for the 10th anniversary? And also, um, Period, you have Studio Period Films? Um, if the, seriously, Sakeno deserves it. And also not just that, Sakeno, I hope you are seeing more of the Western fandom is saying that you deserve um, an anime reboot. I really hope that this happens for you. I hope that at Jump Fest, uh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything at Jump Festa for Twin Star Exorcist. So I, I, I doubt we're going to get an announcement at Jump Festa as of yet. But man, I'm hoping that the fan... I, Twin Star fandom, we need to rise the fuck up and demand, keep demanding an anime fandom or an anime reboot. And that goes for you, especially Japanese, the Japanese fans need to stand up as well. But 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys thought of Twin Star Exorcist, um, what you thought of this ending. As I said, I think this is definitely one of the better endings we've gotten this year. I still would say that, I'm sorry, Sakeno, this is just, I'm being real with you here. Hoseki no Kuni is still the best ending we've gotten this year. Um, I would say Twin Star Exorcist ending is up there with Tamadachi game. Um, the only reason I would maybe say Tamadachi or Tamadachi game, yeah, it's on par with Tamadachi game. It is. It's definitely on par with Tamadachi game. I just think the where Twin Star Exorcist might edge out Tamadachi game is just the writing, like the, just how that closing text is just phenomenal. Now I think about it. this is definitely, I think this is probably the second, the more I'm thinking about it, this is the second best ending this year. I think so. I think this is the second best ending followed by Tomodachi game. And as I said, the reason being is that concluding text edges it out. Oh, for sure. Even though Tomodachi game had that amazing twist. Oh, that twist was sick. But the way Sakeno concluded this chapter was just the cherry on top that edged it out. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help uh, keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more manga content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our um, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.